filling the brake now. We are three quarters of the way across. We got John running the other haul truck. And uh, we haven't brought the long reach back yet because we know the material that we're going to dig out is going to be wet. So it's right there. When we dig that out, it's going to be wet. We don't want to put it on top right now because we still got to work. So as you can see in front of Dad's strength, that's all we got left to fill. So uh, we're going to keep trucking sand, get the dry sand back here, and uh, then we're going to uh, bring the long reach back and we'll start digging. And uh, we'll get that dug out and we'll give it a couple days to dry. We'll grade that sand off and then we will apply our riprap and we will cap all that sand on top with dirty 53s and basically make a roadway up here that when water comes up and washes across, if it ever does, it won't eat out those dirty 53s because they'll have so much clay in them because they're dirty. So, but chances are, if the water is up that high, it's a very, very big disaster going on because that would require it to be like two foot above flood stage. And that really doesn't happen through this area right here. So it's gonna blow out somewhere upstream, downstream from here before it ever blows out here. So we're gonna keep trucking dirt, get this filled in, and uh, maybe this afternoon, I'll uh, bring that long reach back here and do some digging. Uh, we're not working very late today because mom said we couldn't because we put enough hours in this week. We're at about 75 hours now of running track trucks and uh, I'm getting tired so I'm ready for a day off tomorrow. Gotta do some fabricating work in my shop to get some stuff done for the trouble because when we're done on this project we've got one more small project to do and then I'm going to set the trouble up and I'm going to wash some stone and I'm going to mine for some gold. So more fun and exciting things to come. Gonna make some long reach videos so stay tuned. It's still not getting or it still has not got to the exciting stuff yet. Let's put it that way. So there's still more to come on my channel. So if you're watching and you're not subscribed yet, you better hit that subscribe button. So, because you won't be sorry on this channel. So anyways, if you're watching this, thanks for watching so far. I greatly appreciate it. So I'm going to keep hauling dirt until we get to the next exciting step of this project. There's John waiting on me to come through. Out through the woods we go. And back to the pile we're going to go. I love it through here. So pretty. So quiet. Nice and cool. We gotta clean all this up when we're done. We gotta re, I guess, reclaim it. So, I don't believe this road is actually gonna stay. So, and even if the road stays in a year or two, it'll be grown back up to all that crap. And you'll never know it was even here. It'll just be kind of a hump through the whole place. Which isn't gonna hurt a damn thing. Well, we've officially stopped the water from flowing in and out, 
and we got a few more loads of dirt to haul and we will be across and have this widened out so today's goal has been met now we just gotta finish hauling material and then we are out of here so I got a little behind in my video today. Um, we did get the brake filled with sand. It's all filled up. Um, right now I'm in the uh, Hyundai 300 uh, long reach loading John with riprap and he's hauling it back there and we're using a riprap to armor where the uh, brake was. So the brake is completely filled with sand and now it's being armored. So. Uh, we're going to get this riprap back there packed in and uh, we're down to one truck because that truck, the uh, track broke on one side. It didn't physically completely break apart but the cables inside broke uh, which is common on them um, and it's got the bad oil leak so we just parked that one. It's not usable so they're going to bring us a new one out Monday and swap it out and until then we're just going to run one truck and John's actually on his way back right now so uh, I'm going to load him and uh, we're going to quit early tonight so that'll be it for the day and uh, but it's been a successful day got the brake fixed so I'm happy I'm ready to take some uh, time off and take tomorrow off so that'll work so Anyways, if you like this episode of Dirt Green Seal, give me a like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next one. The next one, we'll review everything that we've done. We'll show you what we've done, how we did it, and how nice it works or looks. Thanks for watching. So, it's a beautiful Monday morning. We do have the brake fixed. Now we're just hauling dirt in to build it all up. We got it all rip-wrapped, and it is all completely fixed. Turned out really nice. So now that the uh, brake is completely fixed and the uh, rip wrap is put on and the bank we've got it all packed in real nice it's not going to go anywhere now that we got all that done now we're going to take the dirty 53s and we're going to top the top of this bank to give it a nice cap so if the water runs over it won't wash the sand off well there we have it brake is all fixed got it all packed in got rip wrap on it got dirty 53s on top to keep it from eroding the rip wrap will keep it from eroding so looks good should last a lifetime so now all we gotta do is uh build the rest of the uh 1200 feet up about a foot more put 50, dirty 53s on top and uh this project is finished so turned out real nice and hopefully it'll last a lifetime so I'm going to head back to the road that's it for today thanks for watching give me a like and subscribe if you like this and I will see you on the next one